Good morning. I wanted to chat about the coronavirus because there is so much fear out there in relation to this. And I totally understand that if we're one of the one to 6% of people with a compromised immune system, that it's very much in our minds and thoughts as to whether or not we're going to be affected with this over the next 30 to 90 days, as is what's being uh, projected forward uh, by the medicals, medical people around the world. So there are so many things that we can do to boost our immune system for the flu, even if it is, uh, we don't know if it's genetically modified, but it is looking potentially like there is something going on along those lines. So it's about really looking after our health, looking after our immune system. And of course, the immune system starts in the gut. So making sure you are drinking purified water, not having fluoridated and chlorinated water because fluoride and chlorine are antibacterials. So therefore, when you're drinking your water, try to buy purified or, or get your filters going so that you're paying attention to that so that you're not killing the bacteria in your gut and the bacteria, you know, that are massively involved in our immune system. So and a probiotic and fermented foods are really good ideas at this time to help to keep our gut nice and healthy. There are lots and lots of herbs that boost the immune system, things like andrographis and echinacea, elderberry, elderflowers. Uh, there, there are so many things that you can be taking, olive leaf extract. Those herbal things, they all work in slightly different ways. So the way that andrographis works, it is a white blood cell immune booster, but it also is a liver. It's a bitter herb. It's called the king of bitters. So it works by activating the liver function as well as the gut function. There are things like zinc and A and C and that that sort of combination of uh, vitamins really helps as well to help with the mucous membrane. Zinc is important in over 500 functions in the liver. It's uh, one of those things that if you are deficient in zinc, your gut won't be working well, your liver won't be working well, your immune system will be dysfunctional. So we, at this time, you know, making sure that our nutritional status is nice and solid, you know, keeping away from our alcohols and sugars and uh, the sugary foods for every about 10 to 13 teaspoons of sugar can reduce your immune system by about 5 to 10%. So that's like... Uh, glass of coke or a big scoop of ice cream or you know so sort of paying attention to those sort of things as well trying to keep yourself up and running obviously sunshine you know to get our vitamin d morning and afternoon if you're somewhere in the world that has some beautiful sunshine at the moment so we're we're locked down in australia or getting closer to that at the moment and i know other there's five countries as of this morning that are in total lockdown so this, it's really being trying to be contained, but it's it's still spreading. Uh, here in Australia, of course, there's lots of uh, panic buying and that sort of thing. Don't forget the fear will upset your immune system. In Australia, some of my favourite uh, supplements are things like Andro NK, Andro Andrographis Complex, uh, the Echinacea Premium those types of things for the immune system. There are specific probiotics for the immune system, ultra flora immune enhance, ultra flora immune control. If you happen to have autoimmunity, people with genetic immune system issues, paying attention to looking after those genes with sulfurophane, brock shots, uh, sulfuroclear, those sort of things, keeping our gem, eating heaps and heaps of uh, broccoli greens, you know, to keep us detoxifying, uh, things like iodine, if we are, if we have a compromised thyroid, making sure you've got supplements with like iodine, tyrosine, those sort of things to keep your thyroid stimulating hormone activated during this time. If our if our thyroid is slower, it's going to also upset your immune system. So, just look at your own situation, making sure that you are looking after your health as best you can naturally, as well as, you know, whatever your medical professionals are asking you to do. But don't forget, our lives are in our own hands. We need to be prepared with, well, I think, I think we need to be prepared uh, with things that we can take in big doses if needed, need be. There is no cure for a flu. So, because, and then really it comes down to how vulnerable we are as to whether or not we get big symptoms and our vulnerability, including fear, can make those symptoms worse. So stock up on your vitamin C, stock up, you know, things like that, that you can just really whip into to diarrhea, you know, so with your, with your vitamin C, you can just keep on upping that dose until you hit bowel tolerance. 
Uh, same with things like antigraphis because it's a bitter, it will stimulate the liver. So you need to take it with some food because otherwise you'll be feeling a bit nauseous because it will detoxify your liver. If there's nothing in your gut, you'll feel icky. So don't forget that herbs and vitamins and minerals, you know, you need to pay attention to what you're eating them with at the same time so that you can get the best results for your body. But fear isn't going to help in this situation. Just pay attention to where you're going. We're, we're young and healthy, uh, my hubby and I, so we are going out and eating at restaurants, keeping the small businesses up and running because I'm sure it's the same around the world, but many small businesses are going to be really compromised because of this this uh, coronavirus and there's going to be a lot of fear and stress out there so hopefully that helps but do think about what you can do to to uh, look after yourselves if you're feeling exhausted and run down we're more potentially vulnerable then the ginsengs can actually be really beneficial american ginseng korean ginseng uh, with is in uh, indian ginseng so there's some really nice ginseng formulas uh, so sort of, yeah, sort of have a think about how you're feeling and try to get on top of your health before it hits. One of the reports I read this morning is that it can take up to 27 days. So if we're in contact with someone with coronavirus, we can actually be contagious for up to 27 days before, uh, before we actually get sick. So that's not an easy thing to do, you know, to... Uh, shut down life, shut down countries, shut down cities and towns. Anyway, hope you're all doing well and good luck throughout this weird <laughs> moment in history in the world. Okay, take care. Bye.